these networks and community practice are so important for systems change, as you say, and that brings us perfectly to the quantum social change discussion that we need to tackle our most challenging problems. And Karen O'Brien uh, is Professor of, uh, in the Department of Sociology and Human Geography at the Un University of Oslo in Norway and co-recipient of the uh, 2007 Nobel Peace Prize. One of her students is defending her PhD thesis today. So Karen was so sad that she couldn't join us, but she sent us all her best wishes. And we're going to share a four minute video that captures some of the concepts that she's talking about. She told me this morning, she's just launched a Substack newsletter on quantum social change, which I will post in a moment uh, in the chat. And she's invited uh, people to join at that link uh, and uh, follow what she has to say there. Uh, so we'll just show her video now. Thanks, Lachlan. What's our next move? We're headed towards dangerous climate tipping points, and if we continue with business as usual, one million species are threatened with extinction. When it comes to global issues, we often think about top-down versus bottom-up solutions, or local versus global strategies, or individual versus collective actions. But most people feel unsure about how they, as individuals, can make a difference, a difference that matters. It's time for a fresh perspective. Let's change our usual way of thinking and embrace a paradigm shift that's already happening. Many people now see the links between humans and nature and they understand how change works both holistically and non-linearly. They also realize that individual and collective changes are entangled, not separate. To create a sustainable world, we need a profound sense of interconnection based on values like equity, dignity, compassion, and love. Universal values are the foundation for scaling social change. By consistently applying these values to our actions, we create patterns that scale, much like the repeating patterns in mathematics and nature called fractals, like spirals, beehives, river systems, tree branches, and leaves. Fractal patterns emerge in society when people create new patterns based on values that apply to all of life, to the whole. The fractal impact of individual actions on the whole calls for a quality of action that recognizes the connections between individual change, collective change, and systems change. We can think of this as fractal agency. Sounds empowering, right? But how do we do this in practice? Fractal approaches to scaling involve four steps that engage with three spheres of transformations, the practical, the political, and the personal. First, in the personal sphere, we reflect on what truly matters to us, recognizing that we are deeply entangled and that our universal values connect us with the well-being of everyone. The second step is practical. How do the problems we want to solve show up today? In addressing them, what are the measurable outcomes that we want to achieve? The third step engages with the political sphere. What shifts in systems and cultures are necessary to address the problems that we've identified? The final step integrates the first three steps, and it's really important. We strategically design and implement initiatives based on values that support transformations in the practical, the political, and the personal realms. This involves initiating conversations, organizing movements, launching initiatives, and implementing policies, but it's about doing these things differently. The specific applications of these steps varies depending on the context, but aligning who we are based on our universal values with what we do, alone and together, generates transformative changes that scale. Fractal approaches offer strategic alternatives to fragmented strategies and address the root causes of sustainability crises. They acknowledge that universal values apply to everyone and that each person can generate fractal patterns to drive change in relationships, cultures, and systems. Fractal agency requires awareness, reflexivity, a bit of humility, and a good amount of practice. Can fractal approaches to scaling provide the solutions we need to the vast and complex global sustainability challenges we face? Let's try.